Okay, this is a review for the uh, Lapan 2, the TC979, the new one that came out uh, a little, about a week into January or so. Um, I don't have a lot of experience doing a bunch of these, and I don't have the best equipment set up, but with a bunch of questions online, I figured I would show some people. So, um, this is the actual tablet. Let's see, I'm trying to keep this in frame. 10-inch uh, screen. Nice and thin, not terribly heavy. We've got ports along the top. Uh, pretty much everything is along the top. The power button's up here, volumes right here, microphone, 30-pin connector, and headphone slot here. There's also a screen lock switch where you can keep it from auto-rotating, but you can also do that through the menus. Um, it's got uh, honeycomb on it right now, 3.2.1. My launch screen will look a little bit different because I use an app called uh, Launcher Pro. I actually wrote it down this time. And right now I have it asleep like I usually do. I started it up from scratch earlier and timed it at 34 seconds from it first starting to power up until it was at my login screen. And so I'm going to bring it out of sleep here. And I'm going to put in a code that is not my usual code but shows you that you can lock it with a pattern. You can also do a password, but this one didn't have a pin option. So I had the old one, the TC970, and I got really used to the layout of things, so I kind of like using Launcher Pro because it keeps things how I'm used to. I'm going to try and go through this fairly quickly, but showcase a couple of the different things. And uh, let me try and put this where you can see it a bit better. My background is the Lady of Shalott, so that's what that image is. You can really change it to just about anything. So Gmail. Gmail syncs great. I've got my inbox, a whole bunch of notifications from Amazon, and something or other shipped. And so here it is. You can select show pictures, etc. Not terribly important. Going to hit the home button. All the buttons have been added down here as opposed to the previous model, if you're familiar with that. Uh, so Gmail works really great. Uh, it's had it where now I actually pay close attention to my Gmail because I can get the updates pretty much instantly. Um, the Google Market, or Android Market, whatever they call it. I'm never very good with these things. But we've got fully enabled Android Market. You can do a full search on there. I've gotten a number of apps off of, off of it. But I know some of the other cheaper tablets they say they have the Android market, and then they don't. This one and the TC970, the previous one, both have the Android market, which is great. Uh, Amazon App Store works great, too. In fact, a lot of my stuff comes from the free apps of the day. I bought a few off of there as well. Um, apparently, I have a new app. We're going to ignore that. Go back to home. Next thing, I was going to show Kindle. And I've got it loaded up on one of my Kindles. Oh, God, you can actually see my reflection in there. I'm, I'm afraid of cameras, actually. Uh, so this is a play, John Hodge's Collaborators. It's very good. I recommend it. But And so you can see me here is changing pages. Pretty good response on it. One thing I really like, because I've also got a Kindle third generation uh, with the keyboard, one thing that I really like about this is when I'm laying in bed, I can go up to here and switch it from white to black. Give it a moment. There you go. So it inverts. And you can also, uh, when you bring it up, you can control the brightness in here. I think you can do it by this. But in the app, you can turn the brightness down such that now you don't have to put on like a lamp or something that will help keep you awake. You can fall asleep much faster if you like reading and going to sleep. You've also got the parts where you can do go to, the different parts, table of contents, for instance. You can also go to my notes and marks. And these are all notes and marks that I made when I read this originally on my Kindle third generation. And so I'm going to close that. But as you can see, Kindle works great. Uh, next thing that I have on there is I'm going to gallery to show you some of the pictures. I've got a whole bunch of them. It keeps track of everything in here, and default are the ones that came with it. And so here are some of the uh, the pretty images. And then you can also put your own images on there. I actually kind of like this. This has been a bit of a change, but you can see as I tilt it, it'll actually have the, the panels kind of move behind it. There was another one I was going to show, one that I loaded on here. This is a graphic I made a while back from 
particles I was looking at with an electron microscope. So it's one that I really like, but it shows with very good detail on here. I know Amazon compresses a lot of images and a lot of videos, and so it can be harder to tell. Uh, you can also load videos onto the 8 gig memory that's built in, or up here, there's a little flap that you can insert a thir up to 32 gig. I've got 32 gig in there, so I can tell you that definitely works. Um, you can also take that out and connect it to a computer, put things on it, or you can use the connector cable through the 30 pin. And I've got Windows 7 machines, but they recognize it easily as just a portable device. So we finished the gallery one. Next I was going to show uh, Office Suite. And forgive me, this is going to look a little weird, but I've got to maneuver around the camera. Uh, I'm getting better and better at typing, but this is kind of an odd angle, so let's see what I can do. And so that gives you an idea of if you can read it. This is me typing at a decent rate, and it appeared to be keeping up. That's supposed to be appears, but yeah. You can get Bluetooth accessories for this. I don't have any Bluetooth keyboards to test it out, but I do use these Bluetooth headphones from time to time, and they work just great. Bluetooth seems to be working fine. Originally, I had an issue with it, but after we got a software update, it was working fine, in case that happens to anyone else. But that gives you an idea of how well you can type. I'm actually getting more and more comfortable with it. Um, after the typing thing, I was going to show the camera, and I'm going to maneuver away from it so I can hide from it. But uh, it's got a 2 megapixel camera. You can switch it over here to video mode, where I think you'll have to use some of the options to adjust exposures, etc. I'm going to switch it back to camera, and to give you an idea of the quality, I'm going to try and have it look at this. This is an old Luigi's Mansion Nintendo game. Let me... Uh, yeah, and so I do not Skype myself, so I don't know how well it works, but from the other people's reviews, I think it works fine overall. So that's something that you'll need to try. Uh, next, I was going to do music. Now the volume, I think, is all the way at full. We've got Wagner. I'll just press. The speakers are on the back. Uh, volume's here. Yep, volume's all the way up. Not bad quality. And then you can look through your everything that you've got on there, which is kind of nice. And so that gives you an idea of that. I have no idea how good the sound quality on my camera is, and you can probably not hear me right now, but you've got speakers here and here on the back. So I'm going to pause that, go ahead and minimize that. And then uh, I'm trying to cover a number of the questions that came up in the discussion section. Here's the browser, and this one's a lot better than the uh, TC970. This is Amazon. Uh, you can see I can scroll up and down. Now I'm going to select just Arrested Development. That's one that I always liked, but I'll bring that up. Watch Now. We'll just go with the, the pilot here. And it takes a moment to load up. Now I'm right next to an N-type wireless router, so my signal is about the best I can get it. But and I don't want to do this for very long for, for different stuff or a copyright or whatever. But So you can see this is working fine. And the audio syncs up, which is very nice. This was the main reason I updated to the new one. And so the TC970 didn't really do that or it wouldn't play Amazon.com streaming very well. And so I'm going to close that then, and then Google, uh, YouTube, or whatever. And this is just to show you the browser. I'm going to actually bring up the YouTube app, so the app drawer, YouTube. This is running a bit long, so I'm going to try and finish this up soon. Uh, we'll go with this one. Party makeup tutorial, I can find out what I've been doing wrong. You can see the high def quality. Then I expand it to full screen. Oh, I've got some sort of email, hey that's cool. So you're gonna start off with a primer. Make oh, sure primer, that's what I've been doing wrong, okay. 
Anyway, um, so here's YouTube, and then you can do the search and all that. It's actually pretty nice. And then the final things that I've got are just your average games, Angry Birds. I'm going to kneel down some because I'm kind of hunched over. Angry Birds is now loading up. I don't play a lot of games, but... I'll just do that. Skip. So you can see I've got it pretty well sensitive. Hooray! Okay. Only two stars, sad face. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Uh, someone had a specific question about words with friends. I'm not going to really do much in the lines of... Uh, one or actual turns but here's one that I played just with myself and then you can see you can zoom in and then move around the board you can freely access the bottom and this is it in the landscape mode and for anyone else if you've got any questions check the discussion sections at the bottom of the uh, the Amazon page a lot of stuff's going back and forth with good info there and one of the final ones uh, this is a 3d shark game thing but uh, I'm going to run this one because it will be one that it's controlled with the accelerometer built into it. And so it'll take just a moment to load up. Uh, no, I wasn't aware I had a saved game, but that's fine. Tilt controls. Calibrate. And here we go. And if I tilt... Oh dear lord. Okay, so it's a bit more violent than I remembered. Let's see if we can avoid the humans. But I can dive. And depending on how I tilt it, that's what controls where the shark goes. And so I think this is really the only game that I had that had an accelerometer control. But it shows you kind of the sensitivity of it, which is nice. And so now we're going to run far away from this violent game. Okay, I'm certain my nephew would love it though. I think that's the majority of the information that I was going to go over. If you've got any questions, just throw one down at the bottom of my uh, review. And again, sorry that it appears to be a wall of text, but I, I try and be thorough as much as I can in any of this. So, uh, I think that's everything. Hopefully that was useful for you. Okay, me again, addendum here. I'm over at my sister's house, and I've set up the Play On app on my computer, which is now across town, but it is actively set and it's not asleep or anything like that. It's running and acting as a server for the Play On app here. And I've got it paired properly with their instructions and all of that. And I'm just going through the web browser here. Uh, I'll close that for a moment, web browser. And it's connected to my computer. So from across the city, here's TV shows, um, this will take a moment. I've just been trying on Community, which is one of my favorites. But you can see we've got all of the stuff listed for Hulu. And then we'll just do the most recent one here. When I tried this earlier, the, the video quality could be a bit better. but And it will periodically stop to buffer. A little annoying. Um, you still have to watch the ads. It's just like watching on regular Hulu and so forth. But meh. Uh, when it loads back in. But the quality takes a bit of a hit, which is a downside, but it is something that you can use to watch regular Hulu, kind of wherever. Although you will need to have a computer connected to the internet acting as a server remotely. It's a downside, but hey, it works. And again, for copyright issues, I will not have this run very long. It's a little digitized. The the quality could be definitely better, but hey, it runs. It might work a lot better through the Play On app, but that still crashes right now for me with, uh, let's see, so I can pause it if I hit the button correctly. It's kind of a small button, but that's okay. And then back will take you back out of the full screen, and then you can start maneuvering around and look at different stuff. But this is something that is currently on regular Hulu. Again, I do not have Hulu Plus to try it out. But in the Play On channel guide, I think you can put in your login information to actually access Hulu Plus. Again,